Now let's talk about the shear stress in turbulent flow. Now there are two kinds of shear stresses. The first shear stress is due to viscosity, that is tau B. And that is mu into du upon dy. So I can say that this is the shear stress, shear stress due to viscosity of fluid. Okay. The second stress is due to turbulence, tau t. So this is equal to eta into du bar upon dy. So this is the shear stress, shear stress due to turbulence. Okay, so in this you know that mu is the dynamic viscosity, u is the velocity and y is the distance. Over here this eta, eta is called the eddy viscosity, that is the viscosity that you know is developed due to the turbulence as eddy currents. Okay, u bar is the average velocity, average velocity at distance y. Okay. Now this eddy viscosity, if you divide this by the density, this is called epsilon. And epsilon is the kinematic eddy viscosity. So it is almost or I would say exactly analogous to the dynamic viscosity and the kinematic viscosity. So this is eddy, a kinematic eddy viscosity. Okay, so the total shear stress would be tau is equal to tau v plus tau t. So this would become mu into du upon dy plus eta into du bar upon dy. So this is the total shear stress in the turbulent flow. So just remember these terms as it is, you will be good to go. Now after this, let us talk about the velocity distribution in turbulent flow.